30 foot bluff. Police call this location unsafe and poorly operated. The sheriff even says he wants to shut it down. But the owner, Charles Womack, says he's not going anywhere. I'm just trying to help uh, these high school kids and college kids because they ain't got no money. The last drowning happened exactly one year and 10 days from the one here on Sunday. But Womack says he's not changing any of his rules here, despite the two tragic deaths. Well, you don't put no lifeguard in the lake. And when I was in the lifeguard, might have been way over here, and that's probably two or three thousand feet up there when something happens. You know? No, I ain't putting no lifeguards. District Attorney Stephen Crum says he is reviewing this drowning death to see if any criminal charges will apply to the owner. He says he'll try to co complete that review as quick as he can. For now, reporting live in McMinn County, Stephanie Sanastasi, News Channel 9. Thanks, Stephanie. Sheriff Joe Guy spoke with us on the phone yesterday. He says he feels it is his duty as the sheriff and a citizen to warn the public about what he calls a trashy, nasty, and dangerous location.